if you are not good at mathematics, then you already know what it's like to be completely lost and not understand anything. If you're really good at mathematics, you've probably faced situations where you've had to struggle. But maybe you've never been in a situation where you're just completely lost and completely overwhelmed. I've been in that situation and I just withdrew from the course, moved on, <laughs> so life goes on. Sometimes you're just not ready for the material, sometimes it's just too much. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about a situation where there was a person who is in that type of situation. Now, whether or not they should quit or not, that's a different story, and we're gonna address that. This video is 100% inspired by an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. It's kind of a long email, so I'll read it carefully, but it's very interesting, and I don't think I've ever received an email quite like this one, so I thought, let me, let me make a video on this and post it really quick. I will leave the person's name out of it because there's some really specific things, and I'll just go ahead and read it. If you have any advice, as always, leave a comment. The message is, advice on current situation. Greetings. I am an undergraduate pure mathematics student at one of Japan's top national universities. I deeply appreciate your videos about the non-academic side of studying mathematics. They resonate with me as someone who is struggling in this field. As a non-Japanese student taking classes entirely in Japanese, I am finding it incredibly challenging. The language barrier is just one obstacle. The teaching style here seems heavily focused on rigorous proofs and theoretical foundations, often neglecting problem-solving strategies or practical examples. This makes it difficult to prepare for exams. Following your advice in the videos, I've been taking notes, even when I don't fully understand the material, and spending time reflecting and struggling to grasp the concepts. Yet despite my efforts, I've been failing miserably on exams. Professors here seem to prioritize proofs over equipping students with the tools to tackle problems independently. For example, in my algebra class, the lectures primarily covered the isomorphism theorem for rings, discussing homomorphisms, kernels, and forming isomorphisms. However, the exam included a problem that required knowledge of the Chinese remainder theorem, which wasn't covered in the lectures. Thankfully, I had come across it in a book by chance, but it felt unfairly out of scope. The focus on proofs without practical applications, combined with the unexpectedly high difficulty of the exam problems, leaves me feeling exhausted and overwhelmed. I've tried supplementing my studies with English resources, but I don't have the time or energy to double my workload by translating concepts across languages. Additionally, the Japanese mathematical approach seems to differ significantly from the more applied focus I've seen in American textbooks. I've been struggling for months, and I feel lost. I want to seek help from my professors, but I'm too embarrassed to admit my difficulties, especially as a recipient of a national scholarship. I feel like I no longer deserve to be here, and this has become a harrowing ordeal for me. Wow, wow, wow. So this is a tough one because it's not just like, I'm struggling to pass a test. This is a little bit bigger. So, so first let me just say thank you for your message. I really appreciate this message. Uh, it's a well-written email and uh, I do have some advice and I think, I think it can help you. So I'm just gonna start at the end of the email because you mentioned that you want to seek help from your professors but you're too embarrassed to admit your difficulties, especially because you received this award. So I, I get it, right? You, you get an award, you feel like, all right, they're giving me this, this national scholarship. It's a big deal. I'm, I'm sure it's extremely competitive and congratulations that you got it, right? And so because you, you feel like you have this status, like, oh, you know, you have to perform because 
there's this, this expectation. I think you should go to your professors. I, I don't think you should let fear hold you back. And you say you're too embarrassed, it's the same thing, right? You're just afraid because how it's gonna make you look or how you're gonna be perceived in the eyes of the professor. When I was a student, I took this, this mentality, which I'm not saying you should take. I don't know if this is the best way to be, but I always would tell myself that I didn't care what my professors thought. From my very first class in college, which was a computer science class, I was, I was telling myself that I don't care what the teacher thinks. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to create a path that I could follow where nothing can hold me back, where no teacher could say, hey, you're not smart enough, or hey, I don't like you. I didn't want anyone to interfere with my success, including the professor. So that's kind of a very combative, perhaps, stance that I took. But if you take that stance here, if you don't care what your teacher thinks, then you won't be embarrassed to go see them. right? So I would definitely recommend you go see your teacher because if this has been happening for months, and I mean, it's in Japanese, right? Like, so, so math, <laughs> so math is hard enough, right? Mathematics is hard enough. So you're studying mathematics in another language. That, that's extremely hard. I, and again, I can relate, right? I have another channel in Spanish. Although Spanish is my first language, uh, you would know by watching my videos, but Spanish is my first language. So it makes it a little bit easier for me, but still, you know, reading math books in Spanish, there's a lot of words that I'm like, whoa, you know, and um, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. Yeah. So that's my advice. Go see your teacher and see what they say. Um, the really bad part about all of this, and I don't want to make it sound worse than what it actually is, um, but your story about the exam, okay? So what, what I get from this email is that this reminds me, like in the U.S., this, this would be what you could expect in maybe graduate school, right? In a graduate school class, or like in a really hard class, perhaps as an undergrad, which is what you're in apparently, um, you know, you have these, these topics and then you take the test, and the test is nothing like it. That, that doesn't really happen too much. Um, it happens in grad school, right? But as an undergrad, it doesn't, it doesn't happen too much. So the fact it's happening is not good. Uh, it's probably going to continue to happen. Um, my advice is go see your teacher, and when you go see them, you can also bring up the test. And the way I want you to do it is in a very gentle way. So you go in there with your test, right? And you say, hey, these are the questions I got wrong. Can you help me figure them out? Whatever, if you haven't figured them out. Then when you go over them, you can say, well, hey, um, wh what can I do to prepare better next time? Because I did X, Y, Z, which was in the homework, but you know, on the test, it was a little bit different. Just make sure you don't phrase it in an accusatory way. In any case, you'll find out his logic for putting that on the test. Um, and maybe there was other things on there that, that you know, weren't covered in the notes. Uh, I once was a, a, a teaching assistant for a calculus teacher. And she would put stuff on the test that, I mean, it was like measure theory, right, in a Calc 1 class. And I was like, oh, my God. So I told um, the teacher I was working for. And he handled it really professionally. I just told him, and he just kind of nodded it off. He wasn't like, oh, wow, why is she doing that? You know, he was very professional, really good guy. And, uh, yeah, I don't know whatever happened to that teacher, but her students were, were, uh, were failing. In any case, talk to your teacher, see what, uh, see what, see what they say, and maybe, maybe you can climb out of this, you know? That's my advice. Anyone else has advice for this person? Leave a comment in the comment section below. This is a tough one because it's, it's dark, right? Like you're studying, it's in another language, the test is different from what you're covering. It just all seems really, really bad. And I think the teacher here is, is your only hope. <laughs> so ask them for help, beg them. Maybe, maybe they can help you, right? And maybe, maybe you did cover the Chinese or major theorem. You just, you just missed it, right? So it could happen. In any case, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any advice. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video. As always, keep doing mathematics.